Web Spider season is upon us. After all the rain we've had this year, the warm weather is finally here and that means that funnel web spiders are on the move. During the funnel web spider breeding season, the chances of you encountering one in the home or in your backyard increase dramatically. But encountering a funnel web spider isn't always a bad thing. It's a perfect opportunity for you to help the Australian Reptile Park save lives with our funnel web venom program. The Australian Reptile Park is the only place in the country that extracts venom from funnel web spiders for the production of life-saving anti-venom, and we rely solely on the public for spider donations. The extreme weather conditions we've had this year have made spider collections even more challenging. We need male funnel webs for their venom. Now, the natural lifespan of a male funnel web is only about 12 months after they reach maturity. And what this means for us is we need to be constantly replenishing the male funnel webs within our collection year after year. We need a constant supply of funnel web donations in order to collect the venom needed for the life-saving anti-venom. It takes about 150 funnel webs to produce just one vial of anti-venom. So please, if you see a funnel web, catch it. Funnel web spiders can't jump, they can't climb smooth surfaces, and they will not chase you. Here's how simple it is to catch one. What you will need is a large jar like this one here. If the spider is stationary, not moving, what you can do is pop your jar next to the spider, keeping your fingers at a safe distance, of course, and then you can use a large spoon or maybe even a 30 centimetre ruler to gently encourage the spider into the jar, just like that, very easy. Now, if your funnel web spider is moving, it's a bit of a different story. What you wanna do is take your jar and very simply pop it in front of the spider like that, and it will walk straight into it. What we need to do now is take a little bit of damp soil from the garden, or perhaps even a damp ball of cotton wool, and pop it in the jar with the spider. Once your spider's in the jar with a bit of moisture, of course, pop the lid on to finish off, and then bring it into your nearest spider drop-off location. Here are some helpful tips for staying safe this funnel web spider season. Keep your garden clear of debris. Funnel web spiders love to hide under old pieces of tin and scrap wood. In the home, keep things like clothes and towels off the floor as they're a really enticing place for a funnel web to hide. Also, keep your shoes indoors. And finally, brush up on your funnel web spider first aid. Funnel web spiders are a highly venomous species which are capable of causing death incredibly quickly. The first aid procedure for a funnel web spider bite is exactly the same as a venomous snake bite. You would use a firm pressure bandage to bandage the entire bitten limb. You would then immobilize the limb, immobilize the victim, and seek medical treatment as quickly as possible. No one has died from a funnel web spider bite since our anti-venom program began in 1981. For us to continue the supply of raw venom for the life-saving anti-venom, we need your help. Now that funnel web spiders are out and about, we need your help to catch any that you may find in and around your home and bring them to the Australian Reptile Park or to any of our drop-off points located throughout the Greater Sydney region. 